the world's largest active geyser has erupted three times in the past two months in Yellowstone National Park baffling scientists with the sudden and relatively frequent explosion steamboat geyser erupted on March 15, April 19 and April 27 marking the earliest time since 2003 that it has erupted three times in a year according to the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientists have been puzzled by the recent surge in activity in Yellowstone a national park located atop a giant volcanic hotspot and spread across Wyoming, Montana and Idaho. Steamboat like most geysers is known for its sporadic eruptions said Bob Smith a distinguished professor at the University of Utah who has studied geysers in Yellowstone for 61 years the last time steamboat erupted was in September 2014 what makes this series of eruptions more unique is that all three occurred in a very short period of time you know like within two months Smith told here and now's Jeremy Hobson and that's an unusual trait for me but I've never seen them like that before. All three eruptions are relatively small in scale for steamboat which can push water as high as 300 feet and are also relatively smaller than the 2014 eruption although scientists don't know why steamboat erupted they say it's likely the eruption wasn't a geyser. will trigger a powerful eruption of a supervolcano there is no indication that a volcanic eruption is imminent Michael Pollan the scientist who directs the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory told the Washington Post adding that the last eruption occurred 70,000 years ago. Geysers are rare geological phenomenon that only exist in a few places on the planet they erupt when magma heats gas and water in a reservoir beneath the Earth's surface triggering a jet of water that lasts a few minutes and then a burst of steam that can last for days the process is similar to what happens when you put a kettle on the stove geologists disagree on the cause of this latest series of eruptions but they say they may have been caused by thermal disturbances in the Norris geyser basin or it is more likely that steamboat. experienced smaller and more frequent eruptions than giant eruptions the system which releases 70,000 gallons of water or more at each eruption must have fast enough recharge in its underground reservoirs to be able to repeat over long periods Smith explained the 2003 eruption was linked to a thermal disturbance that killed trees and damaged trails according to the National Park Service Yellowstone's most famous geyser named Old Faithful is an exception to the rule its regular eruption which occur every one to two hours are monitored by a park-run Twitter account. Scientists believe that Old Faithful erupts periodically because it has a simple underground structure Poland told the Post while the steamboat pipe is likely more complicated with the regular magma movement this is what geysers do they erupted Poland said there's nothing to be afraid of.